Hello once again. Uh, this week been some fabulous weather. It's really tired me out though. I don't know if other people get this, but during the heat, I just lose all energy and just kind of, you know, really my body kind of shuts down a little bit, and I just feel quite tired most of the time. So this week has been quite a laid back week. Haven't really done all that much writing and. You know, done a bit to do with the Western Eye. We've started to really uh, push the online operation, and we're going to start rolling it out to students. But apart from that, the blog and Word of the Nerd have, you know, taken a bit of a back seat. Really, um, I've also started going back to the gym, so that's probably um, contributed towards my tiredness and and you know a real factor towards that. I hadn't been for quite a while, so um, going back there was not a shock because I do still cycle to work three times a week, but. It was certainly um, a lot more challenging than I remember it being. Other things that happened this week, Olympics, opening ceremony, wow. It was, I was gripped the whole time, it was really stunning, Danny Boyle really outdone himself, I mean, you know, how he went from Glastonbury to the Industrial Revolution, all the way up to the modern age, and all the music, just the choices he made was brilliant, David Beckham on a speedboat. I wish I was that bloke. I mean, he couldn't have looked better if he tried, really. And then the lighting of the cauldron with the seven young athletes. It was just really, kind of, you could really feel the emotion and it was really special for those people. And I think that really came across. Um, I think it came across across quite a lot of the opening ceremony, just how emotional everything was, you know. We're, as British people, we're really proud. And I think Danny Boyle managed to reflect that in... How he showed, uh, you know, our time span, and Boris Johnson said there should be more about the empire, but I don't think there should have been. Uh, you know, we shouldn't really promote slavery. It was really good as well. The media really got behind the opening ceremony and the Olympics up to now. Really positive coverage. In the lead up, there was a lot of stuff about, you know, it's costing so much money. G four have messed up. Just all these mistakes were just getting pounced on by the media, but then as soon as the opening ceremony day came, it was just, this is it. Everything negative goes out the window, and we just enjoy it for what it is. However, on the second day, so yesterday, was quite a lot coming up about empty seats. I can see why that's coming up. These are all the uh, tickets that were given out to sponsors and corporations, and they just haven't used them, which I think is a bit of a disgrace, really. If we've given these people the opportunity to come to the Olympics... They should come, and if they're not going to come, their tickets should be given to someone else. There's hundreds of people in this country, hundreds of thousands of people in this country who would love to go to one of those events and be part of this, you know, once-in-a-lifetime experience. And I think that, you know, corporations turning down that opportunity and leaving it so visibly empty is a bit of a disgrace. I read something earlier about, um, you know, the army being shipped in to fill the seats. Don't think that's right either, really. I think, you know, there's people in that local area who the Olympics have just sprung up around them and, you know, have maybe had a really big impact on their community and they should feel the good side of it. They should be able to go. But obviously that hasn't happened too well. So it'll be interesting to see how the media follow this through, whether they continue with the positive side of the Olympics or start to hang it and, you know, have headlines on the front page um, mocking it. But... Only time will tell. Um, in other stuff, I did an interview with The Guardian earlier in the week. That was quite nice. Just um, just about my first year of university. Uh, it was about, it was, uh, about uh, lonely students, but then after a certain amount of people emailed in, it became about people who went to, relationship in, uh, went to university while in a relationship, which is what I did. And I think that really did have an impact on my uh, first year as a student and the amount of friends I made and how much of a good experience I had so it's quite nice to kind of have that talk also just as a shot in the dark I asked the the bloke if you know he needed anything done in Bristol to just give me a shout stuff like that just trying to make a contact but um gave me the email address of somebody the editor of student blog posts and she's a really nice woman we've been emailing back and forth so hopefully over the coming week I'll have a post up on uh, the Guardian but we'll have to see how that goes but it would be really nice to have that on my CV that I'd done, you know, done some writing for The Guardian. I think it's one of the best papers in the country and one of the best, you know, real 
institutions for great journalism, great uh, investigative journalism that isn't just journalism and isn't, you know, the tabloids which can become out of control and become a bit gossipy. Also got a letter from the NUJ this week. I am now officially a member of the National Union of Journalists, which is quite nice. Um, not sure what benefits I'll get out of it yet, but uh, I will be getting a you know a little card soon to say that I am a journalist that goes in your wallet, um, which you know could always be handy in certain situations. Um, apart from that, just not really done too much. Just the weather, you know, just been enjoying the sun been to town and Queen Square and stuff and just had a good time just chilling out really. Um, I'll try and get back into the flow of writing over the next couple of weeks but um, in fact I'm going to go and try and do some now. Um, probably won't be a blog post or anything but just some writing in a book or something just you know just to keep keep the turnover going. So until next time, uh, until well next weekend probably. Uh,